Good morning, one and all. Myself, Bhavani from Civil Department. Today, I am going to give the lecture on landslips. In the last class, I already gave the somewhat uh, some knowledge on land landslips. What is meant by that? Like this. And coming to the definition, what is meant by these landslips is it is nothing but the movement of any type of rocks or any soil or any debris or earth that is rolling down from the mountainous region that is called as the landslides and when these uh, landslides are going to occur means when the gravitational and other types of shear stresses within that slope that will exceed the shear stresses why because due to the resistance of the shearing action these shear stresses within that slope that will be changed due to this gravitational force because of that only these land landslides are going to occur it is these landslips are also called as landslips and coming to the classification these landslips are classified into different types based on this specific requirements in that one first one is rock falls what is meant by this rock fall is it is occur when the individual rock fra rock fragments means nothing but um, when any gravitational action means any shear stresses uh, that action takes place there will be rolling down of the rocks or debris or earth or soil also when these are coming through that mountainous region these rock fragments these detach the rock and feel fall freely through the air due to this only means due to weathering action only these going to occur and uh, these uh, when these rock falls are going to occur means these can be occurred through the steep slopes or also cliffs also and mainly these rock falls uh, it can be means by seeing it is very attractive also but these rock falls that didn't give any some uh, disasters all this does not give any disasters why because uh, some um, only some of the area it will occur like uh, you, you can see in this picture these type of disasters it will not give any act. means uh, very big disaster it will not give to us okay so uh, these rock falls can be we can uh, just take it as um, that will be falling from the mountainous region when this rock formants detach from the parent rock okay next coming to the next one that is uh, rock slides what is meant by this rock slides is it is uh, similar to the rock falls only but in that one some um, uh, rocks will be free, uh, fall freely from the rock parent rock means it get detached from the parent rock but these rock slides are it involve larger masses of the rock that will um, moving slowly from the slopes means uh, this is your hill or any mountainous region means some large masses means big big uh, some some contains boulders also this type of boulders also that will roll down from the mountainous region okay means like this it will roll down to the earth okay and larger masses of rocks moving down from the slopes why these are going to occur means due to the failure of lock layers or also jointed rock masses means uh, if any action means um, if uh, our land gets uh, means uh, some uh, earthquake if that happen means automatically these uh, sliding of rocks will be there and when these are going to occur means due to the jointed rock masses or failure of the rock layers okay and coming to the next one that is um, debris flows or also it can be also called as mud flows also and these debris flows these are going to occur when the uh, when any heavy rainfall is going to occur or any rapid snow melt is occurring the, due to these reasons only these mud flows or debris flows are going to occur what is meant by this means it is a fast moving mixtures of rock debris or soil or water or any organic material also but you can see in this picture this um, mud flow it contains water and also mud here you can see these are all the mud and here you can see some of the water is it is a water means this mud and water it combined and that will give rise to the mud flows okay and in this mud flows organic material also will be there and 
some of the debris or some of the soil will be there. This is some of the fast moving mixture of the rock debris. And this will be flowed down through the steep slopes. Steeps nothing but that is having the very deep slope. Okay, means like this. If your mountainous region is like this, this is nothing but the steep slopes. From the steep slopes, this mud flows is going to occur due to the heavy rainfall or ra rapid snow melt. And mainly, these can be highly destructive and are common in the mountainous region. Why? Because um, these uh, from this mountainous region, any mud flow is going to occur means that will go to the road only. Means when uh, on that road any vehicles is travelling means it will give rise to the some of the accidents also it will give rise. So that's why these mud flows are very highly destructive also. Due to the due to this uh, heavy rainfall these are going to occur. Coming to the next one that is uh, lahars. What is meant by this lahars is these are volcanic mud flows. Means when um, some of the now, uh, why these lahars is going to occur means melting of snow and ice during these volcanic eruptions. When volcanic eruptions is going to occur, at that time, melting of this snow and also ice is occurred means that will give rise to the volcanic mud flows. Here you can see, means uh, in this volcanic eruption and when this uh, lava is flowing through the mountainous region, here these uh, when that uh, lava is mixed with this snow or ice, this will give rise to the lahars. It is nothing but the volcanic mud flows. These are often triggered by the rapid melting of snow and ice during the volcanic eruptions. And this also carries the large amount of debris over the long distances. Why? Because when any volcanic is erupted, volcans are erupted means at that time, so much content of lava is going to be released. And at that time, what will happen means that lava is going to flow from the mountainous region. When that is flowing from the mountainous region, automatically that will flow through the long distance only. At that time, so much debris or so much um, uh, mud that is going to combine with the lava. And that gives rise to this volcanic mud flows. And these pose significant hazard to the communities downstream. Why? Because if some of the people that will be living down this um, mountainous region means for that uh, people, these lahars are very dreadful also. Why? Because um, when this volcanic uh, eruptions is going to take place means if that occurred when the melting of snow and also some ice, that will give rise to very much high content of the uh, this um, lahars. So, when this is going to occur means that uh, downstream communities, they have to leave the their area. Means downstream area, they have to leave. And they, they have to leave that overall area so that they can survive also. Okay. And next is slums. What is meant by this slump means when uh, these um, lands, landslides, nothing but um, downward moment of the mass of rock or soil along the curved surface. You can see here, along this curved surface only, these slums are going to occur. And through this downward moment of the rock or any soil, this will result in the rotational landslide. Means, uh, in the previous cases, uh, we have seen that um, means at that uh, landscape only, means at that uh, mountain regions only, these landscape are going to occur. But in these slums, here, this landscape are going to occur in the rotation manner. Why? Because these uh, downward moment of any rock or any earth material that will um, give rise in the curved surface here. Like uh, you can see in this picture, like this curved, curved surface, these slums are going to occur. Means it is a rotational landslide. Why these, are, uh, these um, slums are going to occur means Due to the cohesion materials like clay, silt, these are influenced by the water saturation and also slope steepness. And if water saturation will be there means automatically that will give rise to the cohesion materials like clay or silt. And that will automatically give rise to the rotational landscape, nothing but these slums. Okay. 
these slums are only occurred due to the coarser materials like slay, uh, silt or clay and due to this water saturation or any slope steepness this is going to occur due to the downward movement of the mass of earth or soil also okay and coming to the next one that is um, earth flows and why these earth flows are going to occur and what will happen how it is going to occur means it is nothing but the slow moving landscapes that is uh, due to the gradual down slope movement of the fine grained soil or any sediments also means when there is um, a heavy rainfall is going to occur or soil saturation is occurred means at that time only this earth flows is going to occur means like this this is the earth flow and these earth flows this is nothing but the slow moving landscapes these are not threat to the people that is living down the downstream why because these are slow moving uh, landscapes these are not fast moving landscapes these are not at all destructive to the people to the, or to the communities why because these are mainly slow moving landscapes and these are due to the gradual down slope movement of the any type of fine grain soil or any sediments also and it often resembling the viscous fluid fluid also means some of the viscous fluid we can um, uh, call it as why because in this one fine grained soil that will um, means uh, that movement of that um, rock or any soil is due to this fine grained soil only okay mainly these are occurred why these earth flows are going to occur means due to the heavy rainfall or due to the saturation of the soil and coming to the next one that is uh, um, creep what is meant by this creep means it is the slow and also gradual movement of the soil that will occurs when the downhill over the time and here you can see if this is your area if this is your area here you can observe means here here this is the soil creep we can call it as the soil creep when this a soil creep is going to occur means that will damage the structures and also infrastructure over the long term means um, immediately this creep is not going to occur means creep landscape it is not going to occur immediately that will take some time why because this much uh, means uh, in this soil only creep is going to occur means uh, gradual movement of the soil and uh, or regrowth downhill over the time and these are typically imperceptible on the human time scale but uh, means this creep are not at all uh, hazardous to the people why because it will um, only damage the structures and also it will destroy the infrastructure over the long span not the short span in the long span it is going to occur the infrastructure of the buildings it is occurred due to the the soil saturation also and this is the slow movement slow or gradual movement so that's why there will be no destruction of the destruction of the people or any human human life or animal life also and coming to the next one that is um, a complex landscapes this complex landscape it is nothing but the combination of multiple landscape types or processes which making them the challenging to classify and also to manage means in the landscape there will be combination of the different landscapes means uh, some occur due to the creep or some occur due to the rock falls or uh, rock slides and combination of these or the classification these complex landscapes is going to occur and in this one overall this uh, complex landscapes it is very that mountainous regions is very steep also means uh, this steep area it may be of um, 5.5 meters or above that one also it is nothing but the combination of the multiple land landscapes means whether it may be rock falls or whether it may be some other uh, creep also or some other earth flows also combination of this multiple landscapes that is that will be called as a complex landscapes and these are very challenging to classify and also to manage when these are going to occur we cannot predict immediately why because naturally these landslides are occurring 
due to this uh, soil saturation or due to the means earthquake uh, building also due to this these are going to occur so these complex landslides we cannot uh, uh, we cannot classify or we cannot manage why because these are really challenging to just to know how much of destruction it is going to occur like that and that's all uh, for the classification coming to the next one that is um, mitigation and the prevention of landslides and how we are going to mitigate and how we are going to prevent these landslides in that one first point is when this landslides is going to occur that will be very hazardous means it is very dangerous these landscapes are very dangerous to the human life and also to the livelihood of the people around that area means uh, around that when these uh, landscape are going to occur means that will going to occur in the mountainous region only at that mountainous region of course there will be livelihood and so many people are living and so many animals are living when these landslides are going to occur means that will be very uh, big hazards to the people living around that area why because in that uh, especially in some of the region they have to experience the economic growth also means uh, economic growth nothing but um, uh, when these landslides are going to occur means automatically these landslides are some of the areas will be there where the rapid population or economic growth will be there when these landslides are occurred at that area means that will be very disadvantageous to the economic growth of that area and also so many people they are going to lose their life so these landslides we have to occur or there will be loss of so much population or also to the economic growth also and mainly these landslides are mitigated by taking the some precautions and how we are going to take that precautions means we are going to install the early warning system in some of course there will be some um, we can know the ground conditions of that area or of that um, mountainous region means uh, if your soil is stable means automatically there will be decrease in the landslides if uh, if you are going to uh, install this uh, warning system means early more a uh, warning system based on the monitoring of ground conditions nothing but um, strain in rocks or soils or slope displacement and also ground water level means because of this uh, slope displacement or because of this ground water level we have to monitor every condition of the ground when we are going to observe uh, ground conditions means automatically we can know when this landscapes or landslides are going to occur means this this will be the warning system for, for the people that will be living down uh, downstream of that mountainous region so these are uh, early warning system means due to the monitoring of that uh, ground conditions we can easily eradicate the um, means uh, some of the hazardous hazards we can eradicate means um, uh, people they can save the life and also we can uh, eradicate the economic uh, economic of that area okay and also uh, there will be some uh, direct methods also means to prevent this landslides there will be some direct methods that can be included that um, modifying slope geometry we can use the chemical agents we can uh, use some of the chemicals to reinforce the slope material or we can install the structures installing the structures like a uh, piles or retaining wall or grouting uh, rock joints or fissures or pathways or rerouting surface and underwater drainage uh, due to this various conditions means we can um, if you are not going to lose the um, buildings means uh, of course when these landscapes are going to occur means automatically they, uh, that will uh, if uh, heavy landslides that is going to occur means that will collapse the buildings so with uh, we have to protect our buildings also protect our people or protect our properties also while doing that we have to remember this that uh, by Uh, modifying the slope geometry or installing the structures like uh, piles or pathways or any retaining wall in that uh, structures means we can easily eradicate the landslides or easily we can protect the properties or also human life okay and 
we can easily means uh, underwater drainage we have to examine and also some of the direct methods like um, uh, direct methods that can be constrained by the cost or la uh, landscape magnitude and also frequency and size of the human settlements at risk why because due to this uh, direct method we can easily decrease the cost cost nothing but uh, we can easily protect our properties or protect our buildings due to this direct methods like uh, means building the retaining wall or building the piles or uh, grouting should be done and also some of the diverting the debris to some other area due to all these conditions due to all these direct methods there is um, there will be constrained by the cost or landscape magnitude and there will be also size of the huge settlements will be at the risk okay due to this uh, overall direct methods we can um, somewhat eradicate the means loss of properties or loss of the human life also and what causes this landscapes and how these landscapes are going to occur means due to the gravitational or any other types nothing but uh, shearing stresses within that slope only when this is your uh, mountainous region means within that slope only there will be shear stresses occurring on that mountainous region and when this uh, short term stresses nothing but earthquakes or any rain storms that will give rise to this landscapes due to this um, earthquake means uh, when this earthquakes are going to occur means there will be unsettlement of the um, means rocks between them automatically rocks will displaced displaced due to this earthquakes so what will happen means automatically that will these earthquakes give rise to the landscapes here and or due to the rain storms also why because when these rain storms are occurring means automatically at the top most of the mountains uh, heavy uh, storms are going to occur means there will be falling down that means uh, some of the debris or some of the earth or rocks or soil that will roll down from this mountainous region that's why these are uh, because of this gravitational or any shear force shear stresses within that slope only these landslide is going to occur it will be these landscapes are imposed due to the earthquakes or also land storms and here various processes that can weaken this uh, shear strength of the slope may also activate this landscape why because because of this um, there will be so many processes means uh, so many processes nothing but due to this rains or due to this earthquakes it will automatically weaken that slope weaken that uh, slope rock bed also when this rock bed is going to weaken means automatically on that area on that shear strength of the slope these uh, may also activate the landscapes this is the cause of landscape and how they are, these are uh, these landscapes is going to occur like this and coming to the next one that is uh, advantages what are the advantages of this um, landscapes why because mostly we know about the disadvantages why because this will um, this will give rise to the damage to the um, Uh, infrastructures are damaged to the buildings or damaged to the human life we only know about the disadvantages of landscapes but what are the advantages what are the advantages of this landscapes is it will these landslides this will contribute to the natural process of geo geological shaping and how this is landslides are going to occur means there will be um imbalancing of the rock bed when this imbalance is going to occur means this will give rise to the geological shaping means uh, rock shaping when this uh, landslide is occurring uh, rock it will rocks will get shaped in some of the shape and it also form in the diverse landforms nothing but valleys and also slopes also this will give these uh, when this landslide is going to occur means this will give rise to the landforms are uh, nothing but valleys and also slopes and next advantage is this will automatically redistribute the soils and also sediment because of the soils and sediment when they, these are going to rise 
when this landslides is going to occur means this will enrich the soil fertility and due to this soil fertility there will be uh, sub, uh, this will give rise to the supporting of plant growth in the areas in some of the regions only why because in some of the regions uh, there will be no plant growth also but some of the region due to this landscape only these landslide will give rise to the soil fertility means growing of plants or any trees that is going to occur and what are the disadvantages of this uh, landslide is it will pose significant risk to the human life or properties or infrastructure and damage to the homes and also it will cause mainly uh, human it will um, cause loss of life of um, humans or any animals also and also there will be disruption of the essential services when this landslides is going to occur means these landslides that rocks when very big big boulders when they go um, they just obstruct the transportation between the one uh, one uh, district to one district or one uh, some area to another area when this landslides occurring means automatically transportation uh, transportation facility will get reduced means uh, there will be decrease in the essential services so these are the advantages means mainly there will be transportation facility will be decreased means uh, almost when we are going to just remove that the rocks or remove that soil it will take some days one or two days it will take at that time transportation between the areas it will reduce okay and there will be damage to the holes homes and damage to the infrastructure damage to the buildings damage to the properties these are the disadvantages of landslides and also environmental damage should also include here and also habitat in destructions and soil erosion is going to happen and also sedimentation is going to occur and also uh, it also occurred the impacting ecosystem and also water quality it is going to occur by because due to this only nearby any some of the ponds or some of the um, small small rivers is um, going to happen means automatically when this uh, landslides is uh, occurring then these uh, soil is soil or any earth material or any soil material or any debris that will go directly into that water and when that uh, this overall materials go into that water means that water quality is going to reduce so and also ecosystem means uh, birds animals plants everything that will um, comes under this ecosystem it will also due to this landslides ecosystem is also going to impact and any soil sedimentation or erosion uh, due to this weathering action these uh, soil erosion is going to happen and also habitat in destruction will be there means uh, there will be loss of uh, animal life or there will be loss of plants or there will be loss of the human life or environmental damage also occurred due to this landslides only so these are the advantages and disadvantages of landslides okay uh, these are the references i have referred you can also refer this books thank you everyone like share and subscribe hit the bell icon for more updates